So now I'd like to talk a little bit about nutrition. I think it's a hugely important thing with FHM. Um, because this is a biochemistry disease, there's a lot you can do with nutrition, which seems surprising, but actually it's not. You, there's, a, there's actually a lot that you can do to help yourself with, with what you eat. Um, I, I actually was given a book by my uh, internist, my internal medicine doctor, um, Dr. Burgess, and it was Andrew Weil's um, Eating Well for Optimal Health. And it kind of gives you the uh, breakdown of how food is processed in your body. It gives you the education that you need to go out and then try to, to find out what's gonna work for you. Um, there are, there, I have a lot of inflammation in my body because of the FHM and because of the fibromyalgia. And so I do a lot of anti-inflammatory diets, but I also have seizures. So I compensate with, you know, making sure that I get enough protein. I also have low blood sugar as well. Um, it's not, it's not, um, I don't have diabetes, but I do have blood sugar problems where my blood sugar will spike or lower. And that can cause me to have mostly seizures, not necessarily an FHM attack, but um, so I would just, again, stress, eat healthy, um, read, read Andrew Weil's book and kind of work on creating a diet for yourself. Talk to your doctor about your nutrition needs. See if he can help you with that. Use the resources that are around you. You know, if you can even get with a nutritionist, they can help you. Um, I tend to drink lots of water and I also, I'm not going to endorse this product, but I tend to drink a lot of the favorite drink of the Florida Gators, if you know what I mean. Um, because I have, I have a lot, I get dehydrated a lot. So dehydration is one thing that happens frequently with FHM. And so I actually use the powdered version to kind of control the sugar. I don't buy the ready-made drinks. They're just too sugary. And, um, so I use the powder, kind of control it, just mix it up. And, and that kind of keeps me hydrated and keeps my potassium up. So, um, one thing you can do if you're getting dehydrated a lot, that's usually low potassium. So you can take potassium supplements. You can eat more foods with potassium. I've actually found that the more I just tailor my diet to eat more foods with potassium, I don't need the supplement. I can actually do it with, with, with the favorite drink of the Gators and like potatoes and things like that that are high in potassium. Um, I also do occasionally eat red meat, that, uh, a lot of red meat, like, and I try to get it as rare as I can just to help with the seizures. So um, I've found for me, it's some, kind, some type of like modified Atkins Mediterranean diet, lots of um, lots of vegetables, um, a good size of protein, you know, the size of your hand, um, and then occasionally ramping up that pro that red meat protein to just kind of help you feel a little bit better and kind of keep everything in balance. So, um, again, nutrition is something that you're going to need to work on for yourself. Everybody's different. What you can be experiencing is entirely different from what I'm experiencing, but don't, don't rule out nutrition as a way to help with your disease.